for heaven's sake. Over. Flashing left. Fucking Jenny. Alright. Okay. I want to talk about the routing, but there's just so much other shit that's a problem. You shouldn't be closing door. You're Phoenix. You should be using a wall. This flash is going to blind nobody. There's so much wrong with this, dude. Why are you picking Phoenix on Ascent? Who who have you watched play Phoenix on Ascent? No! <laughs> Bro, this is the problem with playing Phoenix on Ascent. Like, this guy doesn't know what he's doing either. This is like playing Deadlock. The reason why it's so bad is you can't find good VODs. This dude's not prepped for Phoenix Ascent. I'm sorry, but he's not. Like, he doesn't know what he's doing either. Like, why would he ult there alone, not even in cover? I'll tell you why. Because he's played three Phoenix Ascent games ever. He's just having fun. I don't think there's anybody who, like, plays this agent consistently on ascent right jet main arc no duelist main arc bro you can play phoenix look 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 the moment i take a scent off the list we're gonna get bombarded with hecking haven games see and sunset and split it picks him on lotus and bye it's just a scent look where, where's the two-year-old vod now nowhere to be seen because he picks phoenix on other maps. Phoenix Ascent. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry for your loss. Ascent D1 Phoenix for Rowney face. <laughs> no. No, you can't drop the frowny face like that. Also, you know what? I'm going to start taking note because lots of people say when I type good luck, eat healthy, my teammates get mad. That's one point for not mad. I, I am so confused. Your play is to peek cat with a classic pistol. Does that make sense to you? This makes no sense to me. This actually makes no sense to me. Like, why would you willingly enter this engagement? They're almost certainly going to have Ghost or Sheriff, which definitely has an advantage. Because you need to hit two headshots at this range with Classic to kill them. So your armor means jack shit, because they have to hit two headshots back. But they have a Ghost, which is more accurate. There's definitely not the move yet. No shit, but why did we do it? This ain't our first Ascent game, Scourge. In fact... You've probably played, you've got 400 hours of Valorant under your belt. You have played how many Ascent games? Over a hundred. So what I'm trying to get is why are we peeking Cat with a classic pistol on Ascent game 120? What does Ascent game number five look like? I just don't like five mod on pistol. Wanted more info. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, you're raising a red flag for me. What do you mean you don't like five man on pistol? Which pro do you watch that you emulate who tries to avoid five man on pistol? Or is that a personal opinion you hold about the game and you bring it into ranked because you're raising a huge red flag? I'm going to bring up the chess analogy because for chess, it's way easier for the analogy to make sense. Imagine you open with this move, an objectively terrible move. In fact, white, which is generally already winning, is now losing and let's say that i'm your chess coach and uh, the first vod you bring me is you play this move and i'm like huh why do you play that and you're like i like a4 i'm like um okay and then they do this and then you play like here and then they do like this and you play here and your chess coach is like uh king d2 and you're like yeah i don't like developing my pieces first you understand how it doesn't matter what you don't like or what you do like when you're like a beginner and you are a beginner uh, don't let the diamond rank icon fool you. The only people who like invent shit in chess are grandmasters or not. Uh, okay. There's, there's international masters who invent shit, but you gotta be really, 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 really good at chess before you can invent shit. And it's the same in Valorant. You don't invent strategy when you're like a diamond player because you don't understand the game. You don't, I'm sorry, but you don't. So when you say, oh, I don't like five stacking on pistol. That's the wrong reasoning. And it's raising a huge red flag in my mind. Now, if you said, oh, I watch a lot of Sabrosa and he always tries to split on pistol then i'd be like bet and i'd pull up a suppressive vod and i'd fact check you but as long as you're right i i'm f down but because your thought process is i personally don't like this and i'm just gonna follow my own opinions on game theory you're gonna get stuck you are gonna get stuck 
because you're not the next gift to the strategic Valorant community. Well, maybe you are, but I doubt it. 400 hours, you're diamond. You're probably normal like the rest of us. So you, you can't have that mindset. You can't be like, I don't like this. If you don't like five stacking on pistol, what you should do is you should pull up a provod to see what they do. A bros, uh, Phoenix Ascent. You'd be like, huh, I find my Ascent pistol rushes to be like bad. So what the hell do the pros do? And you pull up Here's some provod. You go, oh. Wait, they're five stacking on pistol. Huh. How's this better? Move, guys. I'm mollying. So All right, are we ready? Yo, are you ready? I was saying it's Yo, are you ready? Uh, <laughs> Compare it to your rush. Maybe he like comms better. He's asking if they're ready. Do I do that? He flashed out there. Did I flash out like that? He routes lane. So compare your rush to his rush. You go, huh, I'm still not convinced. I don't like the look of that. Okay, then watch another. And keep watching pro VODs until you're convinced. Or you find a pro who plays more aligned with what you want. Now, I'll admit you're going to have a hard time finding Phoenix Ascent VODs. But that's your own goddamn fault. You're picking Phoenix on Ascent. Anyways, I went through that whole spiel. At the end of the day, there's actually nothing wrong with defaulting on pistol. But you're not allowed to justify it with like your own opinions. This is an incorrect way to think about it. He's just waiting for a fight. Well, no. Three. That no, he's waiting. Chat, I'm going to hide the screen from you. I'm going to rewind the VOD 15 seconds. I want you to type nothing in chat except what our hero is calming. Okay? You guys ready? All right, go. CT marker. That wasn't us. That was us. Did you get that? I'll rewind. We, we just calmed something. Here it comes. Right there. That was a calm. You hear that? Two market? No, that was our Reina. That was our Reina. No, we just calmed something right there. In fact, here, let me... uh. Uh, I'll, I'll show you again. Here it comes right here. Watch that. What was that? I have a good spot. I'm going spawn inaudible. I've got spawn. I have your spawn elbow stun. I have a good spot. Okay, let's keep watching. Chill, chill, chill. I got that. How about that one? Right there. That whole statement right here omen swing off me oh swing off me swing off me no but there is a full statement there's something after the swing off me you think your headphones are bad you can't hear no believe it or not it's actually um their comms are atrocious <laughs> it's not your headphones <laughs> i can't understand anything you're saying <laughs> def not a bot you your words do not they don't I bet you 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 probably have teammates who don't follow your calls a lot, a lot more than a, the normal a normal individual. Your words just don't. Okay. Are they whispering? Is Mike too far away from them? Neither. It's got nothing to do with the volume and everything to do with the way the consonants and the vowels are mending together. It's got nothing to do with the volume and everything to do with the way that the vowels and consonants are mending together. Mumbling is just not good. It. You can also use Valorant as an opportunity to practice enunciating your words because it's just hecking. It's just a useful skill to have to be able to talk like eloquently and clearly. It's useful in real life. I never really thought about this. Never had an issue in Discord with friends. I assumed Valorant wasn't either. OK, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to be dead ass with you. You ready? Your friends probably would appreciate if you enunciated more clearly, but they're not assholes. And so they're not going to like tell you that, right? Like people are awkward. They don't just go out and tell their friends, oh, you mumble a lot, by the way. Can you stop mumbling? Like it's not a nice thing to say. And so they probably won't say it. You guys really want me to raise the volume and mumble again? That was huge ASMR. You guys are all really weird. That's all you get. That's all you get. Okay, right, okay, right. I'm about to start an ASMR channel. I think I found my hidden calling. I'll get one of those mics that's just two ears. So I can tickle them. We can walk around through mid. I only heard one sheriff. I think he's right as on B. I think that's the <laughs> 
comms, man. It's, it, I'm actually zoning out because of the comms. <laughs> I literally, we just teleported from B main to mid in my head. I actually lost focus for how, how long did I lose focus for? Holy shit. 15 seconds. So many words. Why are you picking up your mouse every second? Chat, watch this back and just listen to his mouse. <laughs> Small mouse pad. Okay, you have two options. You know those pros who play on high sense, and everybody who uses high sense just points at them to justify their ridiculous sensitivities. They're like, what about Hiko, Hujin? Uh, Hiko uses a high sense. <laughs> um, the reason why players like Hiko use a high sense is because when they were younger and playing Counter Strike, they didn't have access to a larger mouse pad and desk. They had to play on a smaller mouse pad, and unfortunately, it's more important in this game that you're able to keep contact with the pad and do like 180s and whatnot than it is to have like low sense. So your sense is fine. 0.35800 is actually much higher than mine, but I can easily do like a 180 easily. And you can't because your mouse pad's too small. So I say you have like two options for your mouse pad or raise the sense. You, this is, you can't be picking up your mouse this much. Is it, It's really bad. Like really, really, really bad because you're basically doing all wrist. Like if you have enough desk space, just get a, honestly, Bro, you don't need anything expensive. Like, if you have a small mouse pad, what? It's just one of these random, like, things, right? You just have, like, just something sitting around that your parents had. Like, it's not a gamer pad. It's just something like this, right? This is what you're using, something like this. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's just some random thing like this. Honestly, bro, you can just use, like, there are so many household items you could just go grab. That would be, like, equal to this, but bigger. Like, you don't even need to buy a pad. There's so many ways to solve this problem like, if you don't have money. A mouse pad is nice, but you don't need one. You you, you need a large space to move a mouse around, mo most importantly, I would say. Uh, yeah, the GSR is like my go-to recommendation because it's cheap and big. Yeah, where is, sorry, where's my sponsorship at? I have like three of these in my closet for like emergency use. <laughs> I'll jiggle it. Why would you jiggle it if you're contact? But also, there's so much wrong with this play. They can just walk out over here mpq that would be a problem kind of a big one um but ne then you start jiggling and you just let the guy pass oops you thought it would be unexpected with the amount of time left why do you think it would be unexpected though uh, you're not wrong you're not wrong okay first of all your play is unexpected because it's bad uh people will peek be made quite a bit they'll also jump out towards stairs to avoid the angle you're playing the angle you're playing like this way is is unexpected because nobody plays this way makes it bad uh people clear b main i see a lot um but yeah if they're coming stairs isn't it also brim like can he just smoke you off you, were you counting brim smokes probably not it's way better to both be site this is way better there's a million ways that you can high low stairs uh the dude box and you like back site works but also like there's a million ways to hold site effectively a dude over here holding lane a dude here holding stairs um i really want you to be on site there's just too much they can do to circumvent this B main hold. And I mean, you even see that because you end up jiggling a bit and bam. Oops. And now if that Brimstone wins the duel on Killjoy, and if he has a smoke, he smokes the bomb, he gets on it. This is actually losable. Very losable. We're having this guy. Right? Flashing left. I'm fucking Jenny. Okay. I just want to point out you saw this guy like a million years ago, but you didn't register him. He's been on your screen. I want to talk about the routing, but there's just so much other shit that's a problem. You shouldn't be closing door. You're Phoenix. You should be using a wall. This flash is going to blind nobody. There's so much wrong with this dude. Why are you picking Phoenix on Ascent? Who who have you watched play Phoenix on Ascent? Who, who's the hecking pro that you've taken notes from? Because nothing about this hit makes sense to me. We're not using wall. We close the door. Like this shit's so 
backwards. We don't use Molly. I refuse to believe that you've seen a pro player attack a tight. Derek, but I don't follow enough. As you said, I don't get why he does what he does. You don't need to understand the why to copy somebody. You sound like a person who's a theory enjoyer, but you don't need to be a theory enjoyer. Like, I don't understand why hecking knight c6 is the best move on move five in the Italian or whatever. Like, I don't understand the full depth as to why it's somehow better than another move. It doesn't matter. It's because it's the correct move. Like, I'd rather just learn my opening theory so I can get to the middle game where shit hits the fan and it's actually fun. Valorant is the same. Attacking the site, think of this like your chess opening. There's like a few good ways to attack the site for your agent as a duelist. They've been well established and like documented. You need to learn them, attack the site that way. And then when you get into like post plant, then we're talking dynamic game where the correct answer is no longer black and white. Like the for example, last round where the bomb was planted here and I didn't like that we would be main. I think we should have been sight. But notice I said, I think right now, I know we shouldn't be closing door. Okay. I know we should be using wall. Would it be a theory enjoyer and still climb? Yeah. Just because you don't know the why doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. That's You can still be a goddamn theory enjoyer like that. It, you're not going to understand the why behind everything in this game, especially as you're lower ranked. You have to be much higher ranked. But even then, like sometimes the why is just because it works, works more consistently. Anyways, you said you've seen that Derek VOD, so let me pull it up. I want to see how he hits. Careful now. I have a spike. What happened to the catwalk? Maybe not, Go, 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 go. Damn, we accidentally burned all our util because he thought his cat player was coming up. Hey, no! <laughs> Bro, this is the problem with playing Phoenix on Ascent. Like, this guy doesn't know what he's doing either. This is like playing Deadlock. The reason why it's so bad is you can't find good VODs. This dude's not prepped for Phoenix Ascent. I'm sorry, but he's not. Like, he doesn't know what he's doing either. Like, why would he ult there alone, not even in cover? I'll tell you why. Because he's played three Phoenix Ascent games ever. He's just having fun. I don't think there's anybody who like plays this agent consistently on Ascent, right? The only good map to find VODs for him is Haven. Yeah, because he's good on Haven. And probably Pearl. You can probably find Pearl VODs. This is why you should be a Duelist main, not a Phoenix main. Because Duelists come in and out of style. So Broza played Phoenix on Ascent two days ago. Yeah, but does he play it on Ascent? Oh, bet. Yeah, he plays enough. I'm down for this VOD. Let's compare. You haven't seen his on YouTube? Well, you did it this to yourself, man. You picked an agent that requires you to do harder research to find good VODs, man. You did that to yourself. Definitely. You can't use that as, as an excuse to not That's find right. pro VODs. I'm writing it down. Okay, honey. It's okay. Oh, no, no. I'm actually writing it Phoenix versus Phoenix is actually crazy. I'm by, by, brother. I didn't find it. Damn, I'm learning so much. Good luck. I'm falling off. He's in the smoke. He's like in the smoke. Oh, man, I've lost him. Are we going or going? I don't have dash. I don't have dash. I don't have dash. I don't like it. There's a cypress here, too. There's a cypress chip. Him, him, bro. There's three here. There's four here. There's four here. Oh, I'm getting it. Damn, he used his whole kit and still didn't go out. Um, American brand that shit. You! How great I am! Yeah, this is probably like a perfect example, but do we have Jet in our game? No. <laughs> so, okay, there's two types of duelist. There's like the bodyguard and the entry. And here, our routing is very different because our entry is here. But Derek's supposed to randomly throw the Phoenix Wall through a main It's not random. They're threatening that they're walking out past the trip to make the enemy burn you till back. But if no movement duelist, then I'm supposed to take space. That's the problem. The problem is you're not supposed to be playing Gallia Phoenix in the first place. Jet main arc? No! Duelist main arc! Bro, you can play Phoenix! Look, 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 the moment I take a scent off the list, we're going to get bombarded with hecking Haven games. See? And Sunset. And Split. It picks them on Lotus. And Bind. It's just a scent. Look, where, where's the two-year-old VOD now? Nowhere to be seen because he picks phoenix on other maps like you just gotta understand like you're doing this to yourself and then 
The problem is the way that you come out is so unacceptable that it's just like rubbing me the wrong way. Like you use no utility, you don't molly gen, you don't wall, you just throw a flash and then you make no space for your team and you just go close the door. Well, like we need to be taking gen and back dice and back sight. You're free to keep playing Phoenix on Ascent. However, you're going to have to go find some good VODs. The defense is going to be the same problem. The problem is you haven't seen any good VODs and so you have no idea what you're doing on defense. we we'll put Phoenix on Ascent, which is a very unconventional pick. This isn't a problem necessarily, but you proceeded to use an average of 0.3 abilities per sight hit on an agent with four high impact attack abilities. You need to either find a few good pro vons, Phoenix sent player who has played Phoenix on the map more than 20 times in the past year <laughs> and has peaked at least a thousand RR. Take notes how they attack slash defend util switch main agents on ascent. Either of these are fine by me. I don't mind if you want to keep playing Phoenix. If you want to go do the uh, homework, I am sure that this is actually out there. I'm pretty sure you can find somebody who's playing Phoenix on ascent in the, the top 100 who's peaked over a thousand RR. But it will not be easy to find that player. Hey, Wahoo Jin here. Did you know that I stream every weekday doing VOD reviews and playing ranked? If you enjoy the videos, the best way to support me is to show up live. If this video was just uploaded, it's very likely that I'm streaming right now. All of my coaching is free, but that means I need to make money in other ways. Please consider supporting me with a Discord subscription if you can afford to do so. I run many live events for my tier three subscribers as a thank you for letting me pursue my passion every day. At 2000 subscribers, I'll be booking a flight out to EU and to APAC to play in-houses on your servers. Thank you for supporting me.